Now, here in Lagos, Nigeria, uh, the government has resolved to begin the prosecution of persons violating isolation rule, vaccination guidelines, and other requirements for safety in the pandemic. To ensure that is, that is done, the government says it will set up mobile courts for prosecution. Briefing journalist, the Commissioner for Health, Professor Akia Bayomi, said the tough measure has become very necessary to ensure people who are non-challenged about their safety do not put the lives of others at risk. Health correspondent Jacqueline Ogo reports. With some nations of Europe and America, as well as Russia and Germany, on the threshold of a fourth wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, here in Nigeria, Lagos state government is taking quick steps to mitigate a possible fourth wave. The government is worried about a possible surge in the spread of the virus during the fast approaching Yuletide, when international travel will rise and many will be returning home to celebrate with family and friends. That will be coming at a time the government is battling to get the rate of vaccination in the state beyond 2.67%. To address dangerous excesses, the government says it will be setting up mobile costs for the prosecution of those engaging in sharp practices against safety rules, like parading fake COVID vaccination cards. The mobile costs will be working under the empowerment of two laws promulgated by the state legislature. So we know that our waves are triggered by movement of people and movement of people that are carrying the viruses with them. Perhaps they, when they did their test before boarding the aircraft, they were negative and they were incubating the virus and they arrived. But quite often, some people are carrying fake certificates and actually not testing. And as a result, when you come into Lagos and we do a proper test on you, we find out you're positive. At that stage, you've already had the opportunity to spread the virus to certain people. At the same time, many people have not been coming for their testing. And so if you're positive on arrival and you're going around your normal business, going to work, socializing, you will be putting other people at risk, transmitting the virus and triggering a wave within the community. Lagos State Commissioner for Health also pronounced some good news for the vaccinated. For vaccinated passengers, fully vaccinated passengers, coming into Lagos, it's quite straightforward. You do a PCR test before you board your aircraft. It must be negative. You pay and book for a day two test on arrival. You no longer have to isolate if you are fully vaccinated on arrival in Lagos. All that is required of you is to do a PCR COVID test on the second day of your arrival. And if you're wondering how to know your COVID-19 status, the government says 10 sample collection sites still exist in the state, including the Infectious Diseases Hospital in Yaba. To get vaccinated, 225 public and 135 private health facilities exist across local government areas of the state. Vaccination is free, except in private facilities where the payment of 6,000 naira is required for the two doses. Capping it all up. With this information, Lagos State Government says the vaccinated have a 33 times higher possibility of being infected, falling severely ill and eventually dying than the fully vaccinated. Jacqueline Ogo, TVC News, Lagos.